<laughs> you can keep going and going and going. I Let hope you have the clips of him running. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's Digital Abyss. I feel like I did really good. I didn't talk when he was talking. I I, I felt I, like John Ralph. I held it in! <laughs> <laughs> and it all just comes out right then. And then I can't control oh, it. Oh man, guys, this has been going on for I miss you. quite some time. As you might have okay. noticed, it's been like, what, five months Four now? to five months. It's been a long time. It's been a good minute, which brings us to today. <laughs> We're talking about despite all of this that's been going on, you're probably feeling a little bit tired. You're probably feeling a little bit defeated. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to keep staying with it, man. Yeah, okay, so this is... <laughs> that is what we're talking about. It is! Okay. But we really, we're getting in the season yeah. where we need to ramp it back up if or you ramp will. it back up, even we, if you are tired, even if I'm, just, I'm adamant, yeah. <laughs> I was right. We can't take this casual. We Correct. need to, you to understand that this is a Blaze service. Yeah. And even though we love meeting with you guys mm -hmm. and we love being in person so we can do all those weird things <laughs> and make you feel awkward and uncomfortable, but now we get to do that via the internet. This but way. my point is, is we just can't get casual. Yeah. We need you guys to keep watching. We need you to watch the whole thing because this, in this season, is how God is ministering to yeah. you from your spiritual leaders. Amen. How he's ministering to you through your junior high youth pastor and your senior high youth pastor. This is our way of connecting with you guys in this season. Mm -hmm. So we can't take it lightly because your spiritual influence and your spiritual advice is coming to you from this format. Right. So we got to take it serious. Yeah. And, and so I guess really what I was starting out with is you guys probably thought <laughs> like, oh, this is them. just like a placeholder. These are cute little things that like are just meant to motivate me, inspire me. But no, like this is the Word of God. This is your food. This is your spiritual ugh, everything yeah. that you're supposed to be getting every single week. And so if for some reason you haven't been seeing it that way, we challenge you to start viewing it that way. Yeah. And just treat it just like you would a Wednesday yeah. night. You bring your Bibles. When Cody and I are preaching, you're there with us. You're giving us some amens and some feedback and wow, that was really good. And you're taking notes. Just because it's on Instagram yeah. or it's a digital recording doesn't mean that we should get casual in how we receive it. Yeah. We need to esteem it with the same um, seriousness right. and the same heart that we would is whether we were in this building. Right. And we can't wait to be back in this building. Oh my gosh, this <laughs> building was built for you. for you guys and for youth ministry and young adults ministry. It needs to be full of young people and until it is, we will not be satisfied. But just because we can't meet like that doesn't mean God's going to stop ministering to yeah. you. Amen. So I want to start with a scripture today over in Hebrews 10 verses 23 through 25 and reading out of the Passion Translation it says, So now wrap your heart tightly around the hope that lives within us. Know that God always keeps His promises. Discover creative ways to creative. encourage one another, to motivate them towards acts of compassion, doing beautiful works as expressions of God's love. This is not the time to pull away mm. and neglect Ooh. meeting together as, the, as some have formed the habit of doing. In fact, we should come together even more frequently, eager to encourage and urge each other onward as we anticipate the day of dawning. So one thing I wanna bring out real quick, it talks about how we should discover creative ways to encourage one another. Yeah. We should discover a way that we can show compassion to one another. We have tried to help you with that. This is a way that you guys can go back and anything that we've done in past, you can say, all right, yeah. this is a good message. This really spoke out to me. I can share it with a friend. I can motivate someone else. This is how God talked to me in this moment. Listen to this, show this to somebody, help someone else yeah. in their time of need. We are doing this for you. Yeah. God is always speaking to you. God is always talking to you. He's trying to inspire you. And then right here, a little further down, it said, this is not the time to pull away. Right. And this is what we've been talking about. Even if you are tired, even if you are feeling defeated right now, now more than ever, yeah. it's time for you to really pull in, grab a hold of this hope that God has for you. 
because you know without you guys Cody and I our reach does not go that far yeah. you guys are our reach and so we really need you uh, and I know we're asking um, it's a big ask, right? But we need you, just like us, to step it up in this season. Yeah. We've got creative ways for us to meet together even though we can't meet together. Mm -hmm. And we are still gathering together. Now, whether you realize this or not, the presence of God is the presence of God no matter where you are. Yeah. And so God can meet you in your house. He can meet you uh, you know, in your backyard when you're watching this on your phone. God is still there. So you need to realize that. He is there with you right now and you can receive from His presence because God is everywhere. The Bible says that His presence fills all all things, all the time. God is everywhere, so He's with you right now as we're ministering. But we need to start branching out. You need yeah. to be, you know, your when you're texting your friends, you need to, to like copy and paste this video yeah. and put it in your text feed. Your friends may be like, hey, watch this, you know, and start reaching out and getting people connected to what God is doing. Because listen, no matter what's going on in the world, God is always better than yeah. the challenges we face. God is always stronger than the things we face in this life. And so if we disconnect from Him, yeah. we lose our ability and our power to overcome. And so right. we have to stay connected. And in this season, you know, some people may be saying, well, I just feel so run down. I feel so week. Why? It's because we're not approaching this with the same seriousness that we do on a Wednesday night right. when we're here together. But if we will, God can minister to us. Yeah. If we will come with an open heart, ready to receive and hear what God is saying, He will be able to minister directly to you through the lens, through the computer screen, through the phone screen, right to where you are because His presence and His Spirit fills all things all the time. Amen. And so stay connected. Amen. Okay, so one of the things that like I got when Robert and I were kind of discussing what today was going to be, I immediately thought of like a person in a boat and looking out and there's like someone struggling that can't swim or someone that's starting to drown in the water and what do they do? Hopefully that person in the boat throws them a life vest or throws mm -hmm. them, uh, you know, a type of rope to pull them back in. And that's like you sharing the love of God. That's us giving that uh, that, that supply to you or maybe whoever it might be in the water. We don't yeah. want to keep it all to ourselves. There's people outside of the boat, if you will. We are on this boat that's called Ablaze Youth Ministries, and it's a cool boat. I like this boat. Yeah. It's like a yacht, you know? There's a lot of fun of stuff boat. happening. Nice. <laughs> but there's people outside of the boat, <laughs> or maybe you found yourself outside of the boat on occasion, but there's life, mm -hmm. life vests, there's life boats, or whatever. We're throwing it out there, we're giving it to you, but we're meant to <laughs> extend that to everyone. This yeah. content, this, this inspiration yeah. that is from the Holy Spirit is meant to go out from this yeah. place and help people. Yeah, and God is wanting to grow His kingdom even in this season. Yeah. And in order for Him to grow His kingdom, we need your help. Yeah. Just like you need our help. We all need to work together. We need you guys to press in. We've got to press in and we've got to begin to share this content with our community and we've got to let this content minister to our hearts. And so I wanted to read this scripture um, about how like, you know, the lifeboat doesn't help anybody if they're not on it, yeah. <laughs> you know? If the, it's kind of like Titanic, you know? <laughs> oh like, my gosh. <laughs> if, you know, we can be the calm in the storm, you know, the Titanic sinking and the band's still playing. <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, we need to be like that with all this chaos going on, but yet we're not troubled by it. Yeah. With everything getting like super crazy, but we're just like, we got Jesus, we're gonna be solid. Yeah. What is that? That's faith in Him. Mm -hmm. And we're not, and those guys that were on the Titanic just playing, they weren't moved <laughs> by their situation. I they feel like really that was a different it. one, but yeah. But they weren't though. <laughs> they weren't moved by their situation. They're like, we gonna die, so let's play some music. But they were just like, <laughs> they stayed consistent and they stayed calm in the yeah. storm. And the good news is, is if you'll stay with God, then your Titanic will not sink. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if you get like distracted and you start focusing on these external things yeah. and everything that's going on, then the devil will be able to sink your ship. He will be able. He is the iceberg daddy. <laughs> that's the devil in these situations. Why? Because he wants to sink us. Yeah. And he can do that if we separate ourselves. Well, what's interesting is you bring that up, and I know it's like really like funny and slightly morbid in some sense. But, but I mean, you got to think that slightly. they were actually doing a really cool thing in that moment because everyone's freaking out and having trouble and mm. calamity in that moment. But instead of freaking out and instead of yeah. adding to the fire of what was happening, a fire and ice cream. <laughs> you know, <laughs> these guys were like, you know what? We have a gift. We have a way that we can bring peace in this, and let's use that gift. That you know, is we so are good. called to to bring joy with our music yeah, and even so in this good. time of destruction and despair we're going to play our little violins yeah. and our little instruments to bring peace in this moment to bring calm in this moment <laughs> and that's you have a gift yeah you have a gift and if you keep that gift to you or 
you, you dwindle that gift by separating yourself and disconnecting, then that gift can't minister to people yeah. and it can't help people. And so we really need to begin to activate the gifts on the inside yeah. of us. And let's look and see what well, happens. Real quick, let me Go, jump do in real it. quick. Over in Ephesians 4, 15 through 16, mm, it Ephesians. says, we will speak That's the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who's the head of this body, the church. He makes the whole body fit together yeah. perfectly yeah. as each part does its own special work. Woo! Helps the other parts grow so that the whole body is healthy and growing in full love. I didn't know how this scripture was gonna fit, but I put it in there because it's so <laughs> good. In this time, yeah. we all have special works that we're called to. That's right. And God is trying to cultivate that in you. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it makes sense to our natural mind that in this, all this COVID crap that's going on, mm -hmm. all this racial tension, all this stuff, all this thing that makes it feel like our life's on pause in this moment, mm. God is cultivating you to help other people, to help you, but also help other people because He wants the whole body to grow so yeah. it can be healthy and grow and be full of His love. Yeah, and the best way for you to grow in that scripture in Ephesians 4, before Apostle Paul starts talking about the individual work of the body of Christ, he starts, he mentions the fivefold ministry gifts and he says their job is to perfect you and to basically hone you in to be able to do your job in the church and so it's about all the members being connected and understanding we need you you need us let's get in here together and let's do it and so we have like this interesting way of showing this this is a it's not really a ball of yarn it's just what do a, you call a this? tube of yarn <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, yeah, it reminds me like before everything was digital and we had to go to the bank and you go through the drive through and you <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, that sound was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but th listen, in order for us to grow, in order for us to do our part, we've got to be connected, yep. you know? And what's so cool about this is I've been referencing this room a lot. Don't you guys miss this room? Don't you miss being here? Don't worry, we're coming back. I believe it, it's going to happen. But, you know, we connect on Wednesday nights when we meet together. Mm -hmm. The cool thing about digital through Instagram or wherever you're watching this, we can connect no matter where you are. We stay connected through this avenue, through mm -hmm. this platform and it's awesome because no matter where you are the power can still run through that to reach you so Cody Take this it. is the power, I got the power. so he's just gonna run around this room and watch what happens when he goes around this room yeah let's go go look at that look at that my dude is still connected yeah no matter where he goes he goes on stage he goes around hey <laughs> Man, outside! I'm uh -oh. still going! <laughs> There's no way back in! <laughs> He's still going though! Look at that! <laughs> Dude, you got 300 yards! Keep going! <laughs> you can keep going and going and going. I Let hope you can the clips of him running right now because I got nothing here. I don't know where he went. But it's so amazing. Because guess what? Cody. At the other side of this guy. I'm still connected. Still connected. I hear him. Go, buddy. You can do it. Go. <laughs> I can't believe it's still going. Okay, you got 300 yards. You haven't even made a dent. Oh my go, gosh. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Little. I think. <laughs> I feel like we've made the point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you still got the other end? I do. Look. I, and this is, you know, this is a, a tube of yarn that's like 364 yards, which is a lot. And so eventually this tube of yarn is gonna run out. But no matter where he goes on this campus, in this building, he's still connected. He's holding on to his lifeline. Amen. And I wanna emphasize that God is our lifeline. Listen, we know in John, he said, Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Jesus is our lifeline. Amen. And what God is telling you today is, listen, even though you're not meeting in a building, you're still connected to Him. Mm -hmm. You're still connected to God through this platform. And over in um, uh, what is Ecclesiastes. It? Ecclesiastics, thank you. I kept wanting to say Zachariah, but I knew that wasn't <laughs> right. In Ecclesiastics, it talks about if we seclude ourselves, then the devil can overtake us. Yeah. But if we stand together, we can stand back to back, we can fight, and we can win. And then it yeah. goes on and it says an individual cord is easily broken, but a three braided cord is not easily right. broken. But my point is, is when we stand together, we become that three braided cord that's not easy for the devil to break. Yeah. 
And the way we stand together in this time is by watching these, allowing God to minister to us, sharing them with our friends, making sure that we connect as many people as right. possible to this lifeline that has the resources and has the, the peace and has the joy and has the love and has everything that we need yeah. in this season. Cody is so right. There's never been a season in our lives that we've needed God more than right now. Yeah. We cannot separate ourselves. You cannot separate yourself. You have to let him minister to you through this. So when you come to these videos, don't just watch the intro and then keep scrolling. We need you to watch the whole thing. Yeah. We need you to take notes. We need you to take it serious. Your spiritual growth and then in turn, your ability to overcome situations that come to you is contingent on how you approach this situation, yeah. this moment in time, right now. Amen. And guys, just remember that, yes, this is for you, but it's also for other people. It's imperative yeah. that you take it seriously, just like Robert <laughs> said, because we are meant to be a light in this world. You are meant to be a light in this Amen. world. And so we have that, that attitude of like, I have to help people find Jesus. I need to do everything I can to be a better disciple of Him. I need to do everything I can to, to walk in faith better, to live that life of Christ so that way I can be a good example. Every single week, we are trying to show you what it's like to be a good Christian and hopefully inspire you to better yourself with the God's Word and to, to get more uh, adamant about your life with Him. So we, Really, take it seriously. Yeah. Grab a hold of this. Grab a hold of these truths. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and we need you to walk it out. And and when it comes to everything going on, when you have peace, people are going to recognize Amen. that. When yeah. you have joy, people are going to recognize There's that. something and different then, about you. And then when they ask you, that's when you can say, look at what I'm connected to. Mm. This is why I have peace right now. It's because I yeah. know everything's going to be okay. And the reason why I know everything's going to be okay is because the one that I know. And this is how I know him. Watch this video. This yeah. is how I know him. Check this out. This is how I know him. I'm connected to him. I'm connected to my church and my youth pastors. Even though we can't meet together in a physical location, I'm still connected. And because I have that connection, that's where I'm getting my peace. That's where I'm getting my joy. But listen, you cannot receive his love, his joy, his peace, the fruits of his spirit. You can't receive that if you're taking this lightheartedly. Yeah. It's time to press in, guys. It is. It's time to push in, you know, and, and we will see the effects of that. And I know we're closing down, but it's like going to the gymnasium and exercising. If you just go to the gym, stand there for 30 oh minutes and leave, <laughs> A, they're going to think you're a creeper, but B, you didn't do anything that profits yeah. you. You didn't do anything that benefits you. You took it casual and you didn't actually put in the work to grow your yeah. muscles and expand your muscles and to build strength. And so it's the same way spiritually so speaking. Good. We can't just come into this chat room and into this video and be like, all right, I got what I need. I'm good to go. No, we got to press in. We got to put in yeah. the work to grow so we can stay connected, so we can be a blessing and see the blessing of God in our lives and be able to give that blessing to others. Amen. It's so hard not to just keep going with this. It is. That was such we a good We just love good. talking to you guys. We <laughs> miss you so much. Look, <laughs> and we're still connected. That was awesome. Where did you go? I just went around out front of the building and then it's I came back out around. There. <laughs> And I came through the front door. I didn't think, I thought it was going to break. Like, it was still going. Yeah, you're pulling it right through the door. I Wait till you watch it, because I was sitting here by myself, because Wesley left, and so I was just like, I don't really know what to say to these guys. Cool. So, but anyways, it's going to be great. Well, we love you We miss you so much. Yes, we miss you. We love you. We hope and pray that you guys were inspired to take this more seriously. Get adamant about your relationship with God. Get adamant about His Word. Get adamant about everything that a blaze is, because because we love you guys so much. We just want you to be prosperous and walk out an abundant life that God gave for you. Yeah, and ministry hasn't stopped in this season, even though my camera just shut off. Oh, hello. Ministry has not stopped. Oh, um. <laughs> okay. <I don't> know <laughs> but my, what I was trying to say is we're still here for you guys. If you need us, we direct always will direct message us on Instagram. You can direct message us in GroupMe. You can text us if you need our phone numbers. We will give it to you. If you there's still use so, email, you there, can Yeah, if there's too. email, uh, we're both on Snapchat, even though I don't really check it. We're both on Twitter, even though I don't really check it. We're both on Facebook, even though I don't really check it. So Instagram's probably the best way or text message. What I'm trying to say is we're still here for you guys. If you need us, reach out if you don't know how to get in touch with us call the church office emails there's ways to get in touch with us we love you guys and we want to be here for you we love you guys see you next week on digital Play. Peace. Peace.